What is up, YouTube? Today, let's talk potato milk. Yes, potato milk. I know what you may be thinking. Drinking potatoes? Most people are used to having their potatoes either baked, mashed, or Frenched, but potato milk may be your new alternative to other plant-based milks such as oat, almond, or soy. Potato milk is a great alternative for people with allergies since potato milk is dairy-free, gluten-free, and soy-free. I know what you may be thinking, potatoes are so high in carbs. Yes, potatoes are also high in fiber, which can help you manage your weight and also manage your cholesterol. You ready for this? Let's go! All right, friends, for this recipe, we're gonna get started with about a pound or a half a kilo of potatoes. This will make enough for about a half a gallon or about two liters of potato milk. Depending on the amount of potato milk you are making, you are going to either peel one or both of the potatoes. Cut all of the potatoes to get them ready for boiling. You don't wanna make potato milk with raw potatoes. It's just not a good idea. So cut your potatoes into small cubes so it allows the potatoes to cook evenly. Place the potatoes in a pot. Rinse the potatoes to wash off extra starch. Drain and repeat. Fill the pot with enough water to cover the potatoes. Spark up the range. Add about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Bring the potatoes to a boil. Cover the pot with a lid. Lower the heat and allow the potatoes to simmer until they are soft but not falling apart. After the potatoes have fully cooked, drain the potatoes into a colander. The potatoes cool down, take about a quarter cup or 36 grams of blanched almonds and roughly chop them up. If you already have sliced almonds, you can skip this step. Place the potatoes into a blender, along with six cups or 1400 milliliters of water. I didn't have a big enough blender, so I added half of the water now and half later. To the potatoes and water, you're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, three tablespoons of honey, even though this little wooden honey dipper is as cute as a button, it was more annoying than anything. I recommend using a regular spoon. To that, you're gonna add the quarter cup or 36 grams of almonds you chopped earlier. Cover the blender, sit back and relax. You're gonna blend this for about five to six minutes. Even though five to six minutes sounds excessive, it will ensure everything is incorporated and as smooth as silk. After the time is up, transfer your milk into a muslin bag or a cheesecloth. This will ensure that the final product has no clumps. This looks like a thick nectar right now because I still need to add the other half of the water. After adding more water to meet your desired consistency, you are left with a fresh milk. <clears throat> Potato milk. All right, well there you have it folks. Potato milk made right at home. You can enjoy this either served chilled in a glass with cereal, coffee, or a chocolate chip cookie. If you like this video and you wish to see more, click the like and subscribe button to be notified of future videos. Until next time, thank you for checking out Raffle Loves Food and we'll see you soon. Creamy and delicious, enjoy.